Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are in pink of health. So today in this video we'll see if a given string is a palindrome string or not. So before getting into the video, let us understand what is a palindrome string. So a string is said to be a palindrome if it reads the same backward as forward. For example, let's take our string as ABA and if I reverse the string and try to read it from backward, it is same as forward that is a b a so this string is a palindrome string all right without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so let's try to reverse our string let's take our string as appian okay and try to reverse it with the help of reverse function appian and let me quickly test this Okay, so it's returning the same string as my reverse string, which is not working because reverse function works only with array. Okay, and this string is not array. So we have to make it an array. So how can we do that? So we have to use code function, okay, to convert the character of this text, to convert the character of this string into its Unicode code. Okay, if I just test this, it has converted the characters into its Unicode code. Now, I want my characters back. So, for that, what can I do? I can just use char function. Okay, now what does this function do? This converts the number into its Unicode characters. Okay, it's like first I'm converting the characters into its Unicode code. And then I'm converting them back to characters just to make it a list. Okay, so let me now again test this. I have got my characters back and now it's a list. Okay, A P P I A N. It has converted the numbers into its Unicode character. Now I have my list and I can reverse this. Okay, let me just wrap it inside reverse function reverse there you go okay now what i need to do so this is list of text string and now i have to make it a string okay so i just need to wrap this inside join array function cool if i quickly test this out so this is my reverse string okay now i have to compare this string with my actual string that is appian okay now let me do one thing let me just initialize a local variable okay local variable we'll name it as string local string and this is my string okay and we'll call my local variable over here local string cool let me quickly format the code okay comma is missing here okay now I have to compare this string with this and based on the condition it will check whether it's a palindrome string or not if this string is equal to this then it's a palindrome right if not it's not a palindrome string so I have to use if condition over here to check whether the string is a palindrome string or not. So if local string string is equal to this which is nothing but this okay the reverse of this string if it is equal to this string then it's a palindrome string okay where is it getting closed here parenthesis is missing if this is equal to this then palindrome string else it is not a palindrome string okay it's a palindrome string it 
is a palindrome string and it is not a palindrome string let me just format the code and test this out it's not a palindrome string okay i have misspelled it here palindrome string okay yeah now let me take my string as a b a and again test this out it is a palindrome string so yeah that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye